How we spent 16 days at Bryce Canyon for only $10. Alright, so coming in to Bryce, coming off of 89, uh, they're going to see a low clearance sign, and the height is 13.6. I just wanted to share with you, that's the tunnel right there. Alright, so this is where we ended up camping. This is a boondocking spot. Uh, realistically, you can't go wrong at all on all of the sites down this road. Uh, super easy to get in, get out. Uh, I'll show you where we are. Staying at Tom's Best Spring. And this is right across the street from the Red Canyon uh, Trailhead. But again, super easy to get in from here to Bryce Canyon is possibly a five minute ride once you get off the trail so depending on how far back you end up going um will of course change your five to ten minute time for sure but again this whole road all the way back tons of sights um we have a 44 foot fifth wheel um tons of places for the park some other big rigs back here so this is going to be probably the big rig friendly spot um you have a six 15 day limit here. So I'll jump in the truck and kind of show you back there. Alright, so either before you get to this campsite or once you're here and you're looking to fill up your water bladders um, or, you know, drain your tanks before you come into uh, your boondocking spot, there's three different ways to do it. Other ways, but they've all said no to us due to their wells being low. So the three best ways to do it, um, first, if you have a American, the beautiful pass, that annual pass to all your national parks, you can go right into the national park for free and dump your tanks back there um, and also get fresh water. Uh, they do recommend to do a $5 tip to support the park and they are doing some renovations back there. So when we leave, we won't be using that one and we will actually be going to the dump station at Ruby's Inn, which is the campground right before you get into the national park. Um, they have a super easy, you pull straight forward and dump your tanks. And that would be the only um, $10 we've spent to stay here in the last 16 days. And then of course I said there's one more, and that last one is gonna be the one that is behind the gas station that is Bryce Canyon City. Um, that gas station also has like a car wash, like a self-serve, and then they also have a self-serve RV wash, which is pretty cool because they have a a uh, kind of like a, a ramp on both sides so you can actually get you know really high up on your rig without having to bring your own ladders so that's pretty cool pretty easy the dump station is in the back of that the only reason why we didn't want to use that is because we want to fill up our fresh water tanks because we're getting ready to go on a pretty big trip so our ten dollar for 16 days is just going to be at ruby's inn other good pointers uh, when you are heading this way is to however long you plan on staying and if you may stay a little longer make sure you pack that amount of food the grocery stores here are very limited um, to what they have and what they do have in stock is uh, pretty expensive for um, whatever you're trying to purchase so always plan ahead um, worst case you can go to into that town into bright city town or there's also penguin All right, in Penguage, there's a pretty cool little park that we found. Um, has a water park built into it. 
and I don't know if we can see it in the background, and a pretty cool playground. When you're coming into Penguage, it's right in between the high school and the middle school. Alright guys, we loved it out at Bryce. Tons of super cool things um, to see and just enjoy the weather during the summer. Uh, it was like a high of 80. During the night, it does get super chilly down into the 40s, so definitely be prepared for some colder nights. But guys, if you have any questions about how we boondock our solar setup, how to really even get started, because you don't really need as crazy of a build as we do, you know, don't hesitate to reach out, uh, comment, even uh, message us on Instagram. Also, don't forget to hit the like button um, and definitely follow along. We have a lot of videos that we're getting ready to release on just how we're doing this. Um, we want to share and get more people out there and enjoy the, the views of United States. Talk to you guys soon.